Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Break Games, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the fastest method that I have found to get studs in LEGO Star Wars, the video game from 2005. Now this is for the original LEGO Star Wars game, this is before you get stud multipliers, this is the only you know modern LEGO game where you don't have a stud multiplier to deal with. Uh, so it can be kind of difficult to get studs, especially for the more expensive items in the game like invincibility, that extra is like a million studs, the mini kit detector is like 750,000, so even if you play through the whole game twice, you know, you play through the story mode, play through the free play to get the mini kits. A lot of the times you really won't even have enough studs to buy all the extras, even playing through the game twice and getting a bunch of studs. So to get a lot of studs in this game, the fastest method that I found is to go through Revenge of the Sith and go to the very last level of the game called Darth Vader. And I think this method is seems to be the quickest. I've played some of the vehicle levels, I thought maybe those would be fast, uh, but after doing some trial and error, I found this to be the fastest way. The vehicle levels really don't get you the studs uh, too quickly. So switch to any character you want. I'd prefer to choose a Jedi character or a Sith character because they can double jump. That'll help you out here. And so you're going to want to go to the Wrench of the Sith level, Chapter 6 here, Darth Vader. And right at the beginning here, you're going to have this really annoying section where you're kind of running away from the lava. you got stuff falling on you. And you'll notice that there's actually studs kind of falling on you. Uh, you know, along with all the debris, and there's a couple blue studs there even, and uh, right there I died. You actually want that to happen, because you'll notice if you look at the top left of the screen, I still have the studs that I collected, and this is pretty much the gist of this method, and I found this to be the absolute fastest way to get studs in this game. Uh, after you do this, you know, several times, you'll start to learn exactly where all the st uh, studs and stuff spawn from, and so you're going to want to kind of hang back a little bit, and uh, right from the left, right here in this section, there's going to be this lava pit to the right where the, there's a gap in the floor. And uh, to the left there is where two blue studs spawn. So those are going to be the most useful studs that you get here. You're going to want to make sure you get those because that will really speed things up. There we go. I collect both of them. And some more studs spawn from the ceiling on the top left here. And from there, you don't really want to go any further. You don't want to progress the level or else you're going to have to restart the level to get back to this point. And uh, really, this is the gist of this strategy, and I think it's uh, really efficient because you can see here I've only been playing you know, for maybe a minute or so, and we've already collected 15,000 studs. That's going to be faster than any other way in this game. If you've played some of the newer LEGO games, you might think, oh, 15,000, that's not that much. But in this game it is because it takes quite a while to get that many uh, through normal means, and especially without any stud multipliers in this game. Uh, so yeah, you just want to repeat this strategy. Make sure you collect those two blue studs that spawn from the left side as you get to the kind of middle of this area. And you can just kind of repeat this section, and sometimes you'll lose a thousand studs when you die, but, you know, since you're collecting the blue studs and collecting all the other studs that spawn, you're always going to be above that, so it's always going to be a net positive. And uh, sometimes in the lava, I've even found, while you're falling in the lava, you can actually recollect your blue stud that you lost, and so you can actually lose nothing at some sometimes, so that's kind of interesting. So here you can see we're already at 25,000 studs. And uh, so in my experience, I had to get like a million studs to try to get the invincibility extra. And getting a million studs actually took me about an hour, hour and a half or so just doing this strategy. So it can take a little while, but uh, you know, if you throw on a podcast or something or just listen to something else while you're doing it, uh, you'll find that the time goes by pretty fast because you'll get to where you're not even paying attention. You're just able to do this and collect the studs uh, just kind of naturally, kind of on autopilot, if you will. And uh, so yeah, this is pretty much the best method. So once you're done, once you have all the studs that you need, like you can get up to like a million studs or even more if you stay here long enough. Uh, so once you get all the studs you need, then you're going to want to progress the level as normal because in this game, if you pause it and go to Dexter's Diner, you'll actually lose all your progress. Like it will not be saved. Your studs will not be saved. So the last thing you want to do is spend an hour here getting studs and then exit the level without saving any of it. So what you have to do is then continue the level as normal. Well, I actually killed myself there. Uh, so I won't show it here, but uh, you'll just have to continue the level as normal. And uh, once you complete the level, then you'll you know, be able to exit with all of your studs that you collected. So that's pretty much the gist of this strategy. Uh, you can also get some more studs in this next room here. I'll go ahead and show this off really quick. So once you get past the first room here, uh, you can see there's lots of studs here in the back room. There's some studs in this side room over here. If you switch to like R2-D2, I'll show this off really quickly. Uh, if you kind of hack this panel with R2-D2, I think there's at least a couple thousand studs in here. Yes, there are. There's more in there, and then there's more over here in the back 
Uh, there's like, you know, a good five, 6,000 studs back here as well. Uh, so yeah, just complete the level and you will get a lot of studs. So in my experience, this is the absolute fastest way to get studs. You can see here, since I exited the level, I did not get to keep any of those studs I collected. So make sure you don't do that if you're actually trying to do this strategy. Uh, but yeah, that's the fastest method. Again, I've tried other methods with, uh, you know, doing the vehicle levels and some of the other levels, but uh, this is really the best way. So yeah, if this video helped you get a lot of studs in this game, leave a like down below. If it didn't, you can leave a dislike, but let me know in the comments comments if you found this to be the fastest way let me know if there's another way that's even faster than this but really i think this is the optimal way to get studs in lego star wars the video game so you can buy all those extras and all those expensive characters as well uh, so yeah be sure to subscribe for more videos like this we're always covering lego games here on the channel and i'll see you guys next time here on quick break games